Welcome to Forensic Detectors. I am Dr. Kojic Asmeri Gas Detector. Today I am your vape detector expert. To answer the question, what does a vape detector look like? Let's get straight down to business. Now, our company, Forensic Detectors, designs a very popular unit, our vape detector. It's a very simple design. It's white. It has a mesh for the vape detector particles to go through. And all it has is a single button at the front with our logo, FD. Now, all these units are designed to be inconspicuous, to be low profile, so there is no alarm, there is no siren on these units. When they alarm, they are sending a signal, a message, a notification to a smartphone or computer program. And that's how these things alarm. They're not like your typical smoke alarm or your typical carbon monoxide alarm that buzzes and makes noises and flashing. No, not at all. These are inconspicuous folks. That's what vape detectors are designed to do. So again, vape detector from forensic detectors. The second vape detector you should have on your radar is the Hello Vape Detector. As you can see, we're on their website right over here. It's a very nice detector. Again, inconspicuous. It's the color white. It has some vents at the front so the particles can go through and a very basic and simple design. You could pass it as a smoke alarm, a carbon monoxide alarm. It's something that folks install, again, on the ceiling and it's inconspicuous. No one knows it's there. The next vape detector is from a company called Vercada. They have a few different models. The first model is a square profile and the other model is sort of like a round oval shaped model that has multi sensors in it, folks. So again, the point is they have their logo on the unit, very simple logo. It's a V design, but the rectangular guy, again, doesn't look like nothing. You would give it a double look at. It's just something very inconspicuous. Again, white, low profile, and again, mounted on the ceiling. The fourth is Triton Vape Detector. This is how it looks like. Again, very simple, very basic, very inconspicuous. But in this case, they have their logo on the front. It says Triton with their symbol. Again, and there's a few vents on the side so the particles can go through to the vape sensors inside. The fifth vape detector we're presenting is this Zeptive Vape Detector rectangular, white in color, and very basic. No symbols, no text whatsoever, folks. And that's how it looks like. They have a square version and a rectangular version. The last vape detector is from a company called ICAS. Now, check it out. Look at it, folks. It's rectangular, white, very basic. You wouldn't, again, give it a second glance but it's detecting vape particles and other parameters. So that's how the ICAS vape detector looks like. Now, all these units are becoming very popular. They're mounted within schools, within bathrooms, within various public spaces, and we're starting to see many employees installing them in bathrooms and common areas. What we have over here is how a smoke alarm, a carbon monoxide alarm looks like. Again, they are white, some of them are round, some of them are rectangular, and all of them are designed to be mounted on the ceiling or on the wall. Now, they can be thought of as vape detectors. If you look at them and look at the previous versions I just showed you, they all look very similar. Vape detector, alarm detector, vape detector, carbon monoxide detector, very similar. But what you will see is a carbon monoxide detector typically has a digital display presenting the parts per million of what is being detected. Now, some do not actually have the display, but most carbon monoxide detectors today have a display. Now, this is a cooling and heating control unit. Some people think this is a vape detector. Some people pass it as a smoke detector or a carbon monoxide detector. In this case, it's a display with buttons, and this is how you control your heating and ventilation system. So again, we have heating and ventilation controllers. We have carbon monoxide detectors. We have smoke and fire alarms, and we have vape detectors. Is. Folks, bad news, they all look very similar. They all look very similar. So that's the purpose of this video, to educate you, to show you the differences. Not that there are many, because vape detectors are inconspicuous like others, but you will at least have a starting point and you'll know which common brands to look for to help you determine which one you want to buy, to help you determine if you like the look of it, to help you determine uh, if I see one in the bathroom, etc., etc. Well, I hope that's educational and informative. Informative. Till then, be well, be safe, and see you soon.